Now we spoke to one with one or two brand companies, organizations. What we pitch to them is this. Now we got your normal pitching where people actually pitch their projects. But we're also selling the idea to people like, again, apologies if I just use your name uh, uh, loosely, people like MDEC. Now MDEC may want to host a page where projects are endorsed by MDEC. Now this gives credibility to the project itself because it has gone through the filtering process by MDEC and the team from pitching. And this is just not any Tommy and Harry, these are people which, whose project that MDEC endorses, or even Cradle endorses, or even TubeTalk endorses. Now I know I'm supposed to meet up with Jason Lowe soon. He's a big fan of technology and music, and these are channels or categories supported under pitching. So what we like to do is that we want TubeTalk to actually host a page under pitching, where projects under music and also under technology can be endorsed by TubeTalk, right? So people who pitch know that these are credible projects, and behind behind that, TubeTalk would actually then pitch in money. Say, for instance, the last twenty percent with one week to go, the last twenty percent, they probably will pitch the last twenty yeah? percent. Something that we want to explore with brand uh, companies, organizations, and how we can go about. Yeah? So. This is how we differentiate ourselves from Kickstarter and also other drug sourcing sites out there in the States. Yeah? Well, what we want to uh, encourage is obviously the uh, encouragement of more ideas to fruition. And so there are, let me see, and that works with about 26 incubators like Andrews, etc. And even then we can only touch so much. Yeah? Uh, but what gets, uh, I guess, visibility and known also gets done, I guess. Yeah? Uh, to that degree, Something like a pitch-in certainly help because it's not just about money. Yeah? It is a good site for testing as well. Yeah? Testing whether there is interest in it, testing whether the idea is valid, because I think in that uh, constructive criticism, I hope, yeah, that uh, companies will actually also uh, change based on uh, the demand that they did not imagine, and that makes it more viable, which means more commercial. Yeah? And that's what gets funded. So sometimes we forget that you know the, uh, we want to pursue our ideas till uh, doomsday, but not sure whether it is acceptable to the market. You know? And the market is ultimately your final, um, uh, I guess, your critic. Yeah, as good as the idea is, you know, all entrepreneurs know that, right? Trying to pitch their ideas, uh, but somehow it can be amended and encapsulated uh, with other uh, components and certainly be more marketable. So pitching allows that portion. Kind of business to learn that branding is something, this is self-help. They can read the stories, pick up some tips for themselves, which they can adapt very inexpensively and just have fun. So please pitch in and help to make this book a reality. There's a self-help for Actually doing a travel log video on um, Epo. We're titling it a slice off. Hopefully when this kicks off, um, we would be able to do many, many more slices of um, different, different locations. We're doing this because we think that we are capable of, of uh, the creative, creative team. So we think that um, we can do something more than, than anyone else. So if this one succeeds, uh, probably we are the first one um, uh, comic, uh, graphic novel uh, in Malaysia. Uh, the copywriter of Madam. Uh, Imran is the comic artist. We actually uh, produce the Badam comics. Uh, actually, we want to tell people. It's not just uh, we want to tell people outside of uh, Malaysia. It's not just in Malaysia because we want to tell uh, everyone about Malaysian culture. The story is about a little boy and his father. Uh, how the father teach the boy how to fight his bad habit.